Melatonin and alcohol, can you take them together and what can possibly happen? Hi, I'm Matt from sleepinglucid.com. First, let's discuss melatonin in beer. According to a study conducted at the University of Sevilla in Spain, beer contains high amounts of melatonin and other antioxidants. It is observed that the higher the alcohol content, the higher the melatonin levels are present in beer. In the study, they also did try to determine which part of the beer brewing process melatonin appears. It is said that barley and yeast are mainly what contributes to the melatonin enrichment of the beer. It happens when barley is malted in the early stages and the yeast during the second fermentation. Even though beer contains high concentrations of melatonin, you cannot assume that it is safe to take melatonin supplements with the beer. Taking melatonin with any alcoholic beverage is generally unsafe due to the possible complications and side effects that may occur. In addition to that, since beer already contains significant amounts of melatonin, drinking it with melatonin supplements can increase the likelihood of melatonin side effects. So, what about melatonin in wine? Drinking any alcoholic drink with melatonin or shortly after taking melatonin supplements is dangerous and that includes wine. Wine can also interact with melatonin and it can cause side effects and complications. Apart from that, it is said that the ethanol in wine and melatonin compete for the part of the brain that is most responsible for making you sleepy. When that happens, melatonin can become highly concentrated in the blood for it causes melatonin to be displaced from the central neurons. Due to this, you are more likely to experience melatonin side effects. So what can you expect from taking melatonin alcohol? Generally, taking these two things together can be dangerous and cause common side effects, which include drowsiness, dizziness, and increased anxiety. Furthermore, this combination can affect the liver and hamper its ability to produce enzymes. There are possible complications due to this, and these are flushing in your face and upper body, swelling in your feet and ankles, abnormally rapid heart rate, difficulty in focusing or thinking clearly, feeling cold or shivering for no apparent reason, difficulty in breathing, and loss of consciousness. Also, it's important to remember that alcohol can affect the effectiveness of melatonin supplements. So, what is a melatonin hangover? Taking melatonin may sometimes cause side effects similar to a hangover, which include drowsiness and or grogginess. This happens when the body doesn't process the supplement as fast as it usually should, which causes the person to experience the effects even after waking up. Also, if you take more than three milligrams of melatonin, you may experience a drunk-like feeling. So what about taking melatonin after drinking? It's really not advisable right after drinking as melatonin can cause harmful effects and be unsafe. However, waiting two to three hours after drinking, or even more depending on the amount of alcohol you took, you can. This way, you don't have to worry about the side effects of this combination. In conclusion, taking melatonin and alcohol together is not a good idea. It can cause drowsiness, dizziness, and increased anxiety. Also, this combination can seriously affect the liver and interfere with its ability to produce enzymes. Apart from that, alcohol interferes with the effectiveness of the melatonin supplement. Lastly, it increases the risk of accidents and loss of consciousness. Therefore, taking them together is not recommended or safe. Please note, even if this combination didn't cause you to have any side effects, it's still unsafe and it gives a higher risk of accidents and loss of consciousness. We have a great video comparing melatonin to diphenhydramine and Benadryl, which you might be interested to check out. I'll have the video pop up after this one. If you liked the video and found it useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We have many more interesting videos coming out. Also, if you want to read more in detail about what happens if melatonin and alcohol are taken together, please check out the full article, which I'll put a link to in the description for easy reference on sleepinglucid.com. Sleep well, and we'll see you in the next video.